friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Connie for those of you who don't know and today as you guys can tell we will be filming something a little bit different today. I will be filming my lipstick declutter. So this will include lip balms, lip oils of treatments, liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, glosses, everything that has to do with lips. So I wanted to show you guys kind of my setup for some of my makeup products. Most of my makeup products are stored in an Alex drawer, but for my lip products, they are in this specific acrylic organizer right here. I do have some on top, and then I do have some on my everyday vanity. So we're gonna be going into that specific organizer right there and yeah we're just gonna see what I will be decluttering today. So before we get into the video if you guys are wondering what I have on my nails right now because I did get a lot of questions last time when I did a declutter. Um, today I have the Sally Hansen Mega Strength nail color in the shade B Iconic and then on my ring finger, I do have this random nail polish that I picked up at Five Below. It's just their LA Colors Diamond, what is it? Their Diamond Crush Polish. And I believe the shade is Sparkle Crystal, and that's what I have on my ring finger. Alright, so the first category is like lip treatments and lip balms and products of that sort. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what I have. If you know me, you know that I'm literally obsessed with lip balms, lip oils, literally anything that helps with lip care. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the products that I do have in my collection for the most part. I This doesn't really account for some that like are still in my car or like in my purses and stuff like that. I did try to collect everything for the most part. I'm not sure if there's anything that was left behind. But this is what I have. The first thing I'm going to do is probably go with these like potted ones really quick. So the first thing I have right here is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And honestly, I love this stuff. I am probably halfway through this one. They literally last so long. I just use this one every night before bed and yeah, no, I definitely love this stuff so I'm going to be keeping that. For the record, I'm pretty sure lip balms is going to be the category where I struggle the most with just because I love them so much. The next product that I have is this Milani, um, what is it? Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. If I'm going to be honest, okay, so it looks like I did use it a little bit. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let me check when this expires. I don't think it has an expiration date. Honestly, I think I've just had this for a little too long, and I feel like I haven't really reached for it that much, so I'm definitely going to declutter this one. So for my declutters, if there's something that I feel like can be used, if there's something that I can give to like family and friends and I feel like they don't mind using stuff that I've already used, I'll do that. But otherwise, I'm pretty sure if something is too old, I'm just going to throw it in the trash if I feel like it's too old and no one can get use out of it. So the next product that I have is the Pineapple Haze CBD Glossy Lip Butter from the brand Truly. Um, if I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure I've used this one time. So I'm going to hold on to this and see if, um, see if I get any more use out of it. But for the most part, yeah, this is still new to me, so I'm going to hold on to this. The next product that I have is also by Truly. This is their Soft Lip Scrub, and this is with... Peppermint and Hyaluronic Acid. Um, yeah, I guess I haven't really tried this one that much either. Oh, okay, so the seal is still on it. I think I've tried it just a little bit, as you guys can see right there. I'm definitely going to hold on to this one as well, just because it still is new to me and I haven't gotten that much use out of it. And then the next product that I have is this Tree Hut Sugar Lip Scrub. This is also new to me as well. I did buy them the same time that I bought the Truly products, and this is what it looks like in there. I think I've only used it once so far, so I don't really remember what my opinion was on this. But yeah, since I decluttered the Milani one, I think I'm going to be keeping the Tree Hut one. So sticking in the category of like lip scrubs and stuff, I know there is a little sample inside this Bite Beauty jar. This is their Sweet Treats Holiday Hangover. 
So I think this is their, yeah, this is their agave lip scrub and it's just a little sample. I think I'm just going to throw this out because it is pretty old. And then just sticking with this one, I'm just going to finish this. Um, yeah, so this is what their lip balm looks like. I think, oh yeah, I'm going to have to throw that one out too. Like I said, it is pretty old and it looks, oh yeah, it's completely dry. So I'm going to throw that one out. I might just keep this jar and like repurpose it for something if I'm going to be honest. I'm all about recycling and repurposing products. So I'm going to keep this and then declutter this balm. So like I said, sticking with like treatments and exfoliators and stuff like that. This is the one by Buxom. And I believe this is the dragon fruit one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so this is their powerful lip scrub in dragon fruit so I feel like this one is really easy to use as a scrub as opposed to like sticking my hand in a pot or something like that and obviously I can't pass this along to anyone else because I feel like that would be gross so I'm definitely going to hold on to this and then the next scrub that I have is by Revlon I'm pretty sure I got this for like a dollar or like 50 cents or something like that I really don't remember I remember using it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep this just because it is newer to me. I did use it one time, but again, I feel like I can't really pass along any kind of exfoliating products to anyone else because that definitely is kind of gross. So I'm definitely just going to keep this one as well. And then I'm going to get out of the way the products that I know that I will be keeping for sure. So the first thing I have right here, this is the Jouer lip enhancer I believe literally all of the wording has rubbed off on it I am obsessed with the Jouer lip enhancer it is so good so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one this is probably one of my top favorites out of every lip balm I've tried and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this when I run out of it the next product that I know I'm going to be keeping is this lip balm right here this is by Pat McGrath and this is just their clear lip balm and this is how much I have left of it. I am literally obsessed with this lip balm. So it does have a pretty high price point. I believe it's like $38 or something like that, but I honestly love this lip balm so much. I know that they repackaged um, the lipstick, so it doesn't really look like, like, the slanted lipstick bullet anymore it does look more of like a balm shape but nonetheless i still love this product and i'm going to be repurchasing it until i can't anymore with that being said i do have three more of the pat mcgrath lip balms so these are her lip fetish lip balms so these two are the ones in clear so i do have two backups of her Clear lip balm that I just showed you guys her packaging is literally insane so this is what the packaging looks like it's such an experience using her products so I just have two more of them and I'll be keeping these two for sure because it is my favorite lip balm the next product that I have is her sheer color balm and it has the same packaging I just want to show you guys what it looks like right here I actually have not swatched it before so I think I'm going to do that right now so this is what I mean by like the traditional lipstick shape yeah her lip balm no longer has that shape but honestly if the formula is the same I don't mind it wow okay so that's definitely really pretty so I'm definitely keeping this one for sure I'm just going to take it out of its packaging so I remember to use it and this is in the shade Blow Up. So yeah, that is so pretty. I love that. The next lip balm that I know I'm going to keep is by Milk Makeup. This is their Kush lip balm and this is what it looks like. It does look, this is in the shade Green Dragon so it doesn't really have that much of a green tint when it's on your lips. If I swatch it on my hand, it looks a little bit green, but honestly, I'm gonna, yeah, I love this. I'm going to keep this one for sure. And then I think I'm gonna go in by taking out products where I feel like I'm not going to use or I feel like I'm not going to get to. So I did like this lip balm for a little bit. I don't even know what brand this is. It says Aero Boost. 
So this is a color enhancing lip balm. It's one of those lip balms that adjust to your pH. So I'm just gonna show you. So it just gives you like a little pink when you use it. I don't know. I did like it for a little bit, but my sister likes products like this, so I think I'm just going to pass this along to my sister. The next product that I have is this Chapstick Total Hydration Chapstick. As you can see, it's like completely separated and it's not even moving in there. I honestly don't know how long I've had this for and it's all different colors, so I'm going to be throwing this out. The next product that I have is this Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Oil and this is, is that the shade name? Is it Spa Day? Okay, so... I don't remember really using this that much. Yeah, I just remember this is like an insane, like, oh, okay. So if you guys can see the swatch, it definitely looks really separated. Because it. I remember being it being like a really dark berry color. Yeah, so we're going to definitely throw this one out for sure. The next product that I know I can get rid of is by Physicians Formula. This is their Maru Maru Butter. I think this is like their lip balm. I believe but this is what the color looks like it's this really bright coral metallic shade and I just don't think that I would wear anything like this at all period not anytime soon not ever so I have not used this yet so I'm just gonna leave it unswatched and pass this one along and then the next product I feel like I can pass along is this one right here I have swatched this before this is the Urban Decay Vice Stay Naked Vice Lip Chemistry in Pink Slip. And honestly, see, it's definitely, it's still brand new. Um, yeah, it's just not a color that I would use and it's nothing that I would be interested in. I'll just swatch it right here for you guys. It's like this lavender oil, but on the lips, it's literally so bad. So, I don't know. I'm just going to pass that along. The next product that I know I can pass along is this Clarins Water Lip Stain. Yeah, so I'm scared to even swatch this. Yeah, so it looks like a nail polish and it's just this bright red color that I really don't want and would never wear. I'm going to throw this out because I'm pretty sure this is really old as well, so yeah. So the next products that I have, I feel like I'm just going to keep everything else. This is the Apple Bomb Glow Lip Mask from Seraphine Botanicals. I got this in a boxy charm. This is the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Lip Oil. I did use this one for a while. I do like that one. And then I have this Kopari Lip Glossy and Birthday Suit, I believe. Yeah. And I haven't really tried this one that much, so I'm going to hold on to that one. And then I have these two Milani Lip Balms. One is in Kiwi Watermelon and one is in Pineapple Papaya. I haven't really used the watermelon yet, so I'm going to hold on to that one. And then I'm still in the process of using this one, so I'm going to keep this one out. This is the Tree Hut Sugar Lips Lip Butter. I keep this in my everyday makeup drawer along with my Jouer Lip Enhancer just because I alternate between them. So I'm going to keep this one. This is the YSL Volupt Volupte Night Rehab Lip Mask. Um, does this have a shade name? I have no idea. But this is kind of reminiscent of the Urban Decay one for me. But this one doesn't have that much of a color to it. So yeah, I'm just going to use this up until I don't have it anymore. I only bought it because it was YSL and I thought it would be good. But... I'm not really that big of a fan of this product, but I am going to use it until it runs out just because it is YSL. And then this is the MAC Prep and Prime for the lips. I honestly have never used this before. Um, this is what it looks like. I've never thought to prime my lips or anything like that. I want to see what this feels like. Okay, so it feels like a really nice balm. It feels like really lightweight. So I might just hold on to this and test it out and see if I like this. Yeah, I'll just hold on to that. And then the next product that I have is by NARS. I believe this is their lip balm in Laguna. 
And this is what it looks like right there. This is newer to me. I have not tried this yet. So I'm kind of interested in testing it out. It has a really sheer tint right there. But yeah, I think I'm just going to hold on to this because I've never tried it out yet. And then this is the Cab Lip Oil. I just got this in a BoxyCharm, so I'm definitely going to hold on to this product right here. And then this is the Rare Beauty Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. And I just got this one as well, so I'll be keeping this as well. There's the swatch right there. Okay, so the next category that I'll be going into is bullet lipsticks. So I don't really have too many bullet lipsticks. I believe these are all my bullet lipsticks for the most part, just because ever since liquid lipsticks became a thing, I just don't really, I don't know, I just haven't really been into bullet lipsticks. So over the years, I have decluttered a significant amount of bullet lipsticks. So this is pretty much what I have for the most part. So here are a couple more that I have. I feel like I can also clump in like crayons and stuff like that to this category as well. I don't know. I'm going to have to see what else I have in the remainder of my collection. But as of right now, I'm just going to be going through these right here. I'm going to start by approaching this little container over here, this drawer. So I honestly don't even know when I bought these. So I'm definitely going to be decluttering these ones. So these are the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks. This is in 560 Saucy Mauve. Yeah, okay, so that's literally disgusting. I have no idea what's going on there. I don't even want to swatch this. I'm just going to get rid of that. So I'm going to assume this one in 590 Blushing Berry is probably also disgusting as well. Yeah, I have no idea. I also don't know when I was wearing colors like that. I feel like maybe 10th grade in high school which like I'm in my junior year of college now so yeah no these have to go for sure I do not remember ever owning an Estee Lauder lipstick I must have stole this from my mom or something out of her collection um that literally looks terrible like I would never wear a metallic magenta color on my lips so yeah that one has to go too um yeah sorry mom but also I don't think my mom would have worn a lipstick like this either so yeah, no, we're gonna get rid of this. I also recall me buying Ulta brand lipsticks around the same time as I did with those L'Oreal lipsticks. So, okay, this is what the lipstick looks like. I do not remember ever wearing a color. Why are these lipsticks metallic? Why, why? I, this literally, it's metallic. There's a shimmer in it. Why was I wearing lip colors like that? Okay. That's disgusting. I honestly don't even know if they package their lipsticks like this anymore. This one has got to go. This is in 217. Yeah, no. And then the next Ulta brand lipstick I have is right here. This is in the shade 248. Thank God this is a matte formula. But also, what is that color here? I'm just going to swatch this. If my hand breaks out, I'm so... Uh, what is that? I just... This is not a color I would wear. No, no. This is going to go as well. Sorry. Okay. The next lipstick we have is Lorac. I do not remember. Well, that's a nice color, but that literally looks disgusting. I really hope I don't break out from swatching these. That is, that's a pretty color, but it's kind of dark. I'm not sure if I would wear that anymore. I know this is probably like five or six seven maybe even more years old so this is gonna get thrown out okay this next lipstick that i have is by makeup forever this is their rouge artist natural n9 lipstick oh okay so it looks like it melted a little bit you guys i literally have not worn a bullet lipstick in forever this does seem like more of a color that i would wear though oh but like that formula doesn't even feel right at all like I don't think a lipstick should be patchy like that. Okay. Um, this is going to get thrown out as well. Um, Makeup Forever. So I do have a lot of mini lipsticks just because I prefer to test out mini versions instead of buying a full-size lipstick. What is this color? This is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I just don't think I would wear anything that pink. When did I own this? 
Okay. We're just going to throw this one out as well. I would never wear a color like that right now at this point in time. So I'm going to be throwing this out. I honestly have no idea when I got this either. So yeah, we're going to say goodbye to that one. This is a Kat Von D lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. Lolita 2 is literally my favorite color from her brand. And I wonder. Okay. So that lipstick f still feels pretty nice, but I don't know. I'm going to pass this on to my sister. I know this isn't too old, so I don't know. I'm just going to pass this one along to my sister. I don't really wear bullet lipsticks anymore, but I honestly, yeah. I'm just going to pass this along to my sister. I feel like she would like that. And then the next lipstick I have in here is by Bite Beauty, and this is in the shade Chai. So it looks like I swatched this probably once. Um, this still feels really good. I know this is like a newer lipstick that I must have gotten. So yeah, that's the color right here. I think I'm just going to keep that one just because I did get rid of all of the other bullet lipsticks. So now we're going to go into this little holder right here. Well, first I kind of want to see. I These are in my everyday lipstick drawers because... Or this is in my everyday lipstick holder because these are colors that I reach for often. This is Bite Beauty in the shade Leche. Leche, I think. L-E-C-H-E, -E, but the two E's have accents on them. I don't know how to say that. And then the next one is in the shade Glace, I believe. That one's pretty too, if I want something that's more cooler tone. I love these Bite Beauty crayons, so I'm definitely going to be keeping these two. The next one that I have is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pillow Talk. This is definitely one of the newer lipsticks that I have that's a bullet lipstick, and I think this is so pretty. I'm just going to keep this one for sure. Okay, so now we can go into this holder right here. First one I have is by Too Faced. This is in the shade SEX on the peach. And this is the color. Okay, I did not remember this being that dark. I remember I like kept this in my purse because I used to be obsessed with this color. Let me see what that looks like. Wow, okay, so that's really cool toned. I don't have anything that's dark and cool toned like that, so I think I'm going to hold on to this one, and I know it is a newer one, so yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. The next lipstick that I have is the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat collection. This is old. I kept this just because, I don't know, I guess for like a collector's like kind of thing. I'm going to swatch it and hope I don't break out. That is such a pretty color, but I don't know. No, that's gross. I'm going to pass it along. It looks nice. And this is where like having a sense of smell would come into play because I know when lipsticks go bad, they smell weird. So yeah, no, I'm just going to get rid of that. Or if anything, I might just keep it as a collector's piece, but not use it at all and make sure it never gets used again. But I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. So the next three lipsticks I have are by Revlon. These are the Revlon Super Lustrous lipsticks and these are supposed to be comparable to their old Revlon lip butters. I just got these about a year ago so they're still good. This one is in the shade Nude Illuminator. So Jam Beauty, Jessica Braun, she was talking about this color and I picked it up because I pick up everything that she recommends. They're definitely just like really sheer and reminiscent of like a lip balm so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. This one is in the shade Glowing Coral. I don't really remember what this one looks like. Okay, so that one's not so bad either. I feel like that one would be good for like the summertime, so I can hold on to that one. And then this one is in the shade Glossed Up Rose. So that's what that one looks like. I really don't have a color like that in my collection. Like I said, I don't really wear colors like that. So I'm just going to hold on to that one as well. My hand is burning right here where I swatched that Urban Decay one that's like 100 years old. It literally is burning. It feels like those like 
lip plumpers. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna need to wipe that off. <laughs> I really underestimated how much staining I was going to have on my hands. So now we're gonna go into my MAC lipsticks. So over the years I have gotten MAC lipsticks, decluttered them, gotten more, decluttered them, and I just don't know. So this one is a matte formula in the shade Yash, Y-A-S-H. I know this is probably one of my newer ones that I've gotten, so I'm going to be keeping that one for sure. This one is in the shade D for danger. This is a matte formula. What is that? I would never wear a lipstick like that. So I'm going to back to MAC this one. I believe it's like if you give MAC six empty products, they give you one lipstick. So I would never wear a color like that. What even is that? Okay, I'm getting rid of this one. This is the shade Spirit. Okay, so I kind of want to compare this to the Too Faced one. Let's see. So the Too Faced one and SEX on the peach. I want to see if that compares. Okay, so they are definitely really similar. I don't know. This one might be a little bit peachier than the Too Faced one. They are very similar though. I don't know. I'm just going, I might just hold on to this one. I did enjoy this one a lot when I used it. This one is in the shade Diva. I know I can declutter this one. What was I thinking? I used to wear this all the time though. Okay, so this is what Diva looks like right here. No, absolutely not. I would never wear a color like that. So we're gonna back to Mac this one as well. The next one that I have is in the shade Brave. I don't even know if I remember what these look like. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so that is also a color I wouldn't wear. So I think I'm going to back to MAC this one as well. This one is in the shade Amoris. What is that? Amoris. Okay. What? Why do I have so many colors like this? I don't wear these shades. I don't wear berry shades. That's, that's going to go back to MAC as well. I'm literally like so shocked at myself right now. Okay, so twig. I remember loving this one. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, really? I loved that one. That's twig right there. Yeah, no, I'm going to back to MAC this one as well. And then this one is in the shade Velvet Teddy. I actually just got this in a BoxyCharm not that long ago, and I'm literally obsessed with the shade. So, yeah, this is the kind of shades that I would wear on my lips right now, like this one, these ones. What I would just wouldn't wear the berry tones. 